uh, Hamayun says, is it permissible if some start the obligatory prayer after a person who is performing a lone prayer, maybe obligatory prayer, sunnah or nafil? Of course. In the Sahih, Abdullah ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, said, I slept in my aunt's house, Maymuna, pretending to be asleep, but I wasn't. I was just simply monitoring the way of the Prophet ﷺ in sleeping and praying. So when he woke up in the middle of the night and started to pray two rak'ahs, I stood up, made wudu, and I stood to his left in prayer. Now the point is that the Prophet started his prayer alone. Intention to pray alone. Intention is to pray sunnah, nafil, whatever, night prayer. And then Ibn Abbas joined him. If joining him was not permissible, the Prophet would have pushed him away. But the Prophet did not do that. The Prophet instead took him in, uh, from standing to his left and pulled him and made him stand to his right, like we uh, uh, should do when praying with an Imam to alone, to, strike, to stand to his right. So this indicates that my intention to pray alone or to lead the prayer is not counted. It's not of great importance. You can join anyone who's praying. Also, the intention, whether the Imam is praying fard or voluntary prayer is not of importance. So, so many times I enter a masjid, I see a person praying, I've skipped. I'm late for the congregational prayer. So I want to pray my prayer and this man is praying and I'm assuming that he's praying his fard or he might be praying his dhuhr sunnah. So I join him. He actually was praying two rak'ahs sunnah after dhuhr. But there's no problem. I pray with him whatever is there. When he offers salam, I continue and complete my fard. The difference of opinion between us is not an issue.